in today's lesson i shall talk about creating a new azure tenant now why we would create a new azure tenant for example if you have a development environment and you do not want to associate it with your production environment then you would create another tenant now creating another tenant means that you are creating another directory this means that users in one tenant are not accessible or do not access resources from another tenant i'm here on my portal and if i click on azure active directory and if i click on manage tenants currently you can see that i have only one active tenant and the domain name is kzcclabs.com which is my default directory this is my production directory i have users i have applications running on this directory now i can have many subscriptions that are linked to this directory or this tenant so if i go back to home and if i go back into subscription i can see that for my default directory i have one subscription pay as you go now let's look at creating another tenant this will also create another directory a directory is as your active directory on premise so i'm creating a new active directory on the cloud so i go to home i go back to azure active directory I click on manage tenants and I click on create to create my new tenant. I'll select Azure Active Directory, click on next for configuration. My organization name would be KZ CC Lab Dev and my domain name would be KZ CC Lab Dev. And the region that I would deploy my tenant in is the United Arab Emirates. Click on next and click on create. Now this will create a new tenant for me. Click on submit. My tenant creation is in progress. And I shall pause this video and get back to you once my tenant is created. So my tenant now has been created. This creates another directory as well. So now I will not have users that are in my default directory in my development directory. I can click this and I can make this tenant as default as well, but I shall not do that. What I shall do is I shall go into the directories and subscriptions on the top and I shall switch from my current directory into my development directory. Now in my development directory I shall only see one user which is the global administrator user and this user is myself because I have created this tenant using this user. So in short, the user that creates the tenant becomes the global administrator. Now I can go ahead and add a new user to this directory, which is my development directory. And for example, I shall give it a dev user name dev user and i'll just copy and paste all of this for this example let's auto generate a password and create this user now i have successfully created my user in this directory let's refresh and wait for this user to show up over here so now my dev user has been created and the domain 
that it uses is kzcc lab dev dot on microsoft dot com let's go back into directories and subscriptions and let's switch to my default directory and over here you can see that dev test user is not present this is because like i said earlier the two directories are separate because you created two different tenants so each tenant creates a separate active directory with separate users and separate subscriptions one thing to note is you can see that this user kzcc is also in my development tenant because this user was used to create my default directory which is this one and my development directory which i just created a few minutes ago if we go back into directories and subscriptions and switch to my development tenant or directory and go into home and try and create a virtual machine you will see that i am unable to create a virtual machine until and unless i create a subscription now let's go back into my default directory and confirm that i can create a virtual machine using my default azure directory tenant so if i click on virtual machines there you go i can create an azure virtual machine because i have an active pay as you go subscription if you cannot create a resource the first thing that you would need to do is to create a subscription because microsoft will bill you for your resources based on that subscription one more major thing to note is that one tenant can have many subscriptions this means that if i have a production tenant and i have different departments i want to build those departments separately let's say finance has a set of resources that i need to build them hr has different set of resources that i need to build them marketing sales have a different resources that i need to build them so we would create separate subscriptions if required if you want to segregate or separate the billings based on each department you would create different subscriptions so one tenant can have many subscriptions but one subscription cannot be linked to many tenants this means that i cannot use this pay as you go subscription on my development tenant and therefore because i have no subscription on my development tenant i cannot create any resources so the first thing that you would need to do to deploy a resource in my development environment is to create a subscription by going into subscriptions and clicking on add this way you would create a new subscription for your development environment and you can deploy the resources in this tenant i hope this was clear for you and if you do have any questions please do let me know and i'd be happy to answer thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video